Welcome to P1 of the Edexcel Software Design and Development Unit 6. Edexcel say that the P1 criterion should cover the application and limits of procedural, object-oriented and event-driven programming paradigms. What this means is that you're going to look at how programs are structured. In my day, when I first started, Programs started at the beginning and went through to the end. And when it got to the last statement, that was it, over. But as computers got bigger, so the length of code got f far greater. And what we found was that it was very difficult to debug a long program. So a procedural program breaks the logic down into blocks of things that do a particular task, and then we string these tasks together to make the program. Everything else nowadays depends on that concept. Object-oriented programming takes this one step further. Not only does it organise the logic, but it organises the data that the program uses as well into sensible blocks, logical blocks that can be reused in all sorts of different programs later on. Event-driven programming arrived because of things like Windows. Here, the user clicks on a button or presses a mouse. In that case, you want the program to do something if one of these events happens. So you code each event separately. Each event is a separate procedure. We're going to go through all this in much more detail.